let's start. Today we will see how to draw a table in the TradingView Pine script. This is the indicator function with name, table. The overlay attribute is set to true, which means this indicator would overlay the bar chart. Next, we have used a table.new function to draw the table. The first argument is the table position on the chart, we have positioned it at the bottom in the center of the chart. These are the available positions. The second argument is the number of columns. The third argument is the number of rows. So we are basically drawing a 4 by 2 size table over here. Next, the fourth argument is the background color of the table. The fifth argument is the border width of the table. The sixth argument is the frame color of the table. The seventh argument is the frame width. And the last argument is the border color. All this information is stored in a variable called myTable. We will use this variable as an ID in the next steps. Next, we have used the table.cell function to draw the first row of the table. The first argument is the table ID. Then we specify the column and row numbers of the cell. The index starts from zero value. Then we have specified the text and background color of the cell. So in the first row, we have shown four heading texts such as open, high, low, and close. And in the second row, we will be showing their respective values. Next, here we have again used the table.cell function to draw the second row of the table. The first argument is the table ID. Then we have specified the column and row numbers. And at last, we have used the toString function to show the open, high, low, and close values as a text in the table. Now, let's add this indicator to the chart. As you can see, a table showing the latest bars open, high, low, and close values is drawn at the bottom center position on the chart. So that's it. That's how you can draw a table in the TradingView Pine script. Thank you.